Welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm an Army veteran. And today I want to show you how to file disability compensation with VA Form 21-526-EZ. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content for Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who love to share your stories, a resource for veterans and non-veterans who love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule the meeting. Okay, so let's get into this topic, man. So first, I just want to show you a step-by-step -step of how to go about filing for disability compensation with the VA Form 21-526-EASY. And this process is very simple. It's very simple. All you have to do is ensure that you have all the proper documents that the VA is going to ask you for. Because again, when you're filing for compensation with the VA, it has to be service-connected disabilities. Let's go ahead and let me show you what to do. So right here, you can see on the screen, sign in to start your application. You're gonna click on that button. And what's gonna happen is from steps one through four, these are the things that you're gonna have to ensure that you do. So when you start with step one, when you file for a disability claim, you have a chance to provide evidence to support your claim. Evidence can include VA medical records and hospital records that relate to your claim condition or that shows your rated disability has gotten worse. You can have also private medical records and hospital records that relate to your claim conditions or that show your disability has gotten worse. You can have supporting statements from family, friends, co-workers, clergy, or law enforcement personnel with knowledge about how and when your disability happened or how it got worse. In some cases, you need to turn in one or more additional form to support your disability claim. For example, you need to file another form if you're claiming a dependent are applying for aid and attendant benefits. What happens if I need help with my application? If you need help filing a disability claim, you can contact a VA regional office and ask to speak to a counselor. To find your nearest regional office, please call 800-827-1000. An accredited representative like a Veteran Service Office, VSO, can help you fill out your claim. Get help filing your claim, which you're able to click on this button right here to do that. Disability ratings. For each disability, we assign a rating from 0 to 100%. We base this rating on the evidence you turn in with your claim. In some cases, we may ask you to have an exam to help us rate your disability. Before filing a claim for increase, you may want to check and see if you already received the maximum disability rating for your conditions. So then do we come to step two, apply, complete the disability compensation benefit form. After submitting the form, you'll get a confirmation message. You can print this for your records. Number three, VA review. We process application in order to receive them. The amount of time it takes to process your claim depends on how many injuries or disabilities you claim and how long it takes us to gather evidence needed to decide your claim. Four, decision. Once we've processed your claim, you'll get a notice in the mail with our decision. So this right here, as you can see, would take approximately 25 minutes to do so. And again, if you need help, they have VSO officers. I did a video on VSO officers, the way you can get help. Um, also, Brother Vince sort of kind of knows somewhat about this process because I've done it for myself. My wife is doing it. So I'm able to give, you know, a little advice here and there about what you may need to do. So if you look right here with me, you can see that I was signed in. And if I was intending on filing, the first thing they do is they ask me these questions and they ask me if I'm on active duty right now. So for me, it would be no. And then they ask me, are you filing a new claim or you disagree with a VA decision on an earlier claim, and I will click whichever box that is, 
And once I click on that box, it would take me to another page. But the reason why I won't go in depth is because one of the things I want you to understand, once you give the VA a notification of your intent to file, they're backdated to the day that you initiated your intent to file. So that's why I don't want to go and push on that button and go in more in depth and show you more because I don't want them to have any records of me intending to file because again, I'm a hundred percent and I don't need to file for anything else. I don't need to touch my stuff. I don't need to have them review or do anything with my case. I just really wanted to do this for educational purpose so that you can do this process yourself or you can seek assistance from a VA counselor or accredited representative. And I just also want you to understand that you have to make sure that if you're going to do it on your own, make sure that you have all of the records that you need. Make sure that you gather all your documents. Make sure that you go to all your appointments. Make sure that you seek self-help. And one of the things that I like to teach veterans is to ensure that you schedule appointments with the VA. I know you may go to an outside doctor, and I think that is great. It's great to have someone, uh, you know, have a second or third opinion about something that's going on with you health wise. But it's also even better when the VA sees your face. So make sure that you schedule appointments with the VA. See them for whatever needs you have. Because one of the things that I notice, a lot of people want to file claims with the VA, but the VA haven't seen them in years. They haven't heard from them in years. And then one day out of the blue, they decide that I'm going to file an intent to, you know, receive compensation for my disabilities. And in many cases, that's the wrong answer. That shouldn't be what you should do. What you should do is ensure that even if you didn't see the VA, you saw a medical professional privately. And you start going to the VA and seeing them because it'll help your case out so that you aren't you know, going through all these different groups and seeking information from this person, that person, and trying to figure out why your situation is one of those situations where, you know, you are not getting um the necessary help that you need or you're not being compensated for your disability. So as always, man, this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince from Vet Talk. My good people, Vet Talk out.